Hello and welcome to this new host of our video. Um, today we'll be looking at the UDM SE and the new update that came out in August uh, for load balancing. So finally, Ubiquiti have released uh, the update for the UDM SE that will now support the, like, the load balancing and, and as well as failover for two WANs. Um, so for quite a while, the UDM Pro and the UDM SE and all the other devices that support two WANs, including the UXG Pro, um, haven't supported load balancing for quite a while. Um, it's something the USG line had when that was released ages ago, like almost 10 years ago. Um, but finally they've they've added proper support for load balancing. So um, I took some screenshots and added it to our blog at hostify.com slash blog. Um, so you can see below, before this update, the all you could do was um, have two WANs. One was backup, one was primary. Now on the right hand side picture you can see you've got failover for WAN 1 and WAN 2. And then you can have it um, distributed as well for... Um, any percentage that you want so that's quite a, a nice feature so and um, this is part of unify os 2.5.11 it's only for the udm se at the moment and as of this video the 5th of september uh, the udm pro still doesn't have the load balancing so um ubiquity said they're working on making unify os 2.x available for the udm pro at some stage um along with this um, load balancing feature we've also got remote syslog so the UDMSE and the UDR can now uh, output their logs to a remote syslog server. Um, which is very useful if a, a device has died, for example, and it just you need to recover what happened to it. Um, so that's, that's good to see. So the um, Unify OS 2.5.11 for the UDR is available. The release notes are available at the Ubiquiti uh, community, as well as the um, UDMSE. Um, those details are available as well. There's a lot of uh, other features including they've updated Sucrata, uh, Suricata to 6.0.5, the security scanning, um, as well as auto detecting for SFP plus ports. Uh, and also, if you're using an SSD with Unify OS, it will now show the lifespan because using an SSD with something like uh, Unify Protect can um, cause a lot of wear on the drive. Um, there's also you also now get uh, hard drive notifications, which is good to see, um, and some also see uh, improved compatibility with these new RJ45 modules. Okay, you can see all the details for this update at the community forum post, which we'll link in the description, as well as our blog at uh, hostify.com slash blog. Um, you can find out all the details and the screenshots we've added, um, so you can get a good idea of what the what changes they've made. Okay, thank you for watching.